Levofloxacin is an antibiotic that belongs to the fluoroquinolone family and is used to treat a variety of bacterial infections. It is effective against several types of bacteria, including Streptococcus, Staphylococcus, Haemophilus, and Chlamydia. Levofloxacin is available in tablet, liquid, and intravenous forms and is usually taken once a day for a course of 7 to 10 days. This antibiotic works by stopping bacteria from reproducing, thus allowing the immune system to fight off the infection. Levofloxacin is effective in treating a wide range of bacterial infections, including ear, sinus, urinary tract, and skin infections. It is also effective in treating bacterial pneumonia, bronchitis, and endocarditis. Furthermore, it can be used to prevent infection before and after surgery, as well as in the treatment of sepsis. Because of its effectiveness and low rate of side effects, levofloxacin has become a popular treatment for many infectious diseases. How Levofloxacin Works Levofloxacin works by inhibiting bacterial DNA replication and cell growth. In other words, it prevents bacteria from reproducing. This reduces the number of bacteria in the body and thereby treats the infection. Another mechanism by which this antibiotic works is by inhibiting the production of proteins essential for bacterial growth. As a result, bacteria cannot produce essential proteins that are needed for their survival, growth, and division. Although levofloxacin works well against many types of bacteria, it is not effective against viruses. This is because viruses do not have a cellular structure, which means they cannot be attacked by antibiotics. Bacteria, on the other hand, have a cellular structure that antibiotics can attack. Types of bacterial infections treated by levofloxacin. As mentioned above, levofloxacin can be used to treat a variety of bacterial infections. Some of the most common infections for which it is prescribed are ear infections, sinus infections, urinary tract infections, skin infections, pneumonia, bronchitis, and endocarditis. Ear infections. Ear infections are common in children and can be caused by bacteria, a virus, or a combination of both. Ear infections are usually treated with antibiotics and are common in young children due to swallowing bacteria. Sinus infections. Sinus infections are usually caused by bacteria that travels from the nose to the sinuses. Antibiotics are usually prescribed to treat bacterial infections of the sinuses. Urinary tract infections. Bacteria from the bowel can travel up to the bladder and cause an infection in the urinary tract. This infection is commonly referred to as a UTI or urinary tract infection. UTIs can be either caused by bacteria or by a tiny bladder worm called a urolith. Skin infections. Skin infections are caused by various microbes, including bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites. Bacterial skin infections can be treated with antibiotics. Pneumonia. Pneumonia is caused by an infection of the lungs, most commonly caused by bacteria. Bronchitis. Bronchitis is an inflammatory disease of the airways in the lungs. It is usually caused by a bacterial or viral infection. Endocarditis. Endocarditis is an infection of the heart valves. It is usually caused by bacteria that travel in the bloodstream. Forms of levofloxacin. Tablet. A tablet is a solid piece of medication that is taken by mouth. It is taken once a day, before bedtime. Liquid. A liquid is a suspension of medication in water or saline. It is given by mouth or through an intravenous IV line. Side effects of levofloxacin. Although levofloxacin is very effective, it does have some side effects. The most common side effects of levofloxacin are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, dizziness, blurred vision, palpitations, itching, rash, and headache. More severe side effects include abnormalities in liver function and seizures. Uses of levofloxacin. Urinary tract infection. Bacterial infections of the urinary tract can be treated with antibiotics, such as levofloxacin. Skin infections. Skin infections, such as impetigo, can be treated with antibiotics, such as levofloxacin. Pneumonia. Pneumonia is caused by an infection of the lungs and can be treated with antibiotics, such as levofloxacin. Benefits of levofloxacin. Levofloxacin can be used to treat a variety of bacterial infections. It is effective against both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. It can be used to prevent infection before and after surgery. It can be used in the treatment of sepsis. It has a low rate of side effects. It can be used as a first-line antibiotic against many bacterial infections. It is effective against drug-resistant bacteria. How to take levofloxacin? The dosage and length of treatment depend on the type of infection being treated. 
The usual dosage for a bacterial infection is 500 mg once a day for 7 to 10 days. The dosage for children is 5 mg per kilogram once a day for 5 days. Levofloxacin can be taken either with or without food. If the infection is caused by a drug-resistant bacterium, your doctor may prescribe a higher dosage for a longer period of time. In this case, the dosage is 750 mg twice a day for 14 days. If the infection is severe, the dosage may be increased to 750 mg three times a day for 14 days. These doses may be adjusted based on the severity of the infection. Alternatives to Levofloxacin Beta-lactam antibiotics Beta-lactam antibiotics, such as amoxicillin, are an alternative to levofloxacin. They work by attacking the bacterial cell wall, which is called beta-lactamase. Macrolides Macrolides are another type of antibiotic that have high bactericidal activity against gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Aminoglycosides Aminoglycosides, such as gentamicin, kill bacteria by damaging their ribosomal DNA. Fluoroquinolones Fluoroquinolones, such as ciprofloxacin, are broad-spectrum antibiotics that work against both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Conclusion As mentioned above, levofloxacin is an antibiotic that belongs to the fluoroquinolone family and is used to treat a variety of bacterial infections. It is effective against several types of bacteria, including streptococcus, staphylococcus, hemophilus, and chlamydia. Levofloxacin is available in tablet, liquid, and intravenous forms and is usually taken once a day for a course of 7 to 10 days. This antibiotic works by stopping bacteria from reproducing, thus allowing the immune system to fight off the infection. It is effective against many different types of bacteria, including streptococcus, staphylococcus, hemophilus, and chlamydia. It is also effective against drug-resistant bacteria. With its effectiveness and low rate of side effects, Levofloxacin has become a popular treatment for many infectious diseases. Thanks for watching.